Out of My Mind by Sharon Draper. This is another favorite book of mine that I would do for read-alouds with fourth or fifth graders. It is an amazing book. Uh, I'm going to read just a little bit for you. Words have always swirled around me like snowflakes, each one delicate and different, each one melting untouched in my hands. Deep within me, words pile up in huge drifts, mountains of phrases and sentences and connected ideas, clever expressions, jokes, love songs. But only in my head, I have never spoken one single word. I am almost 11 years old. 11-year-old Melody has a photographic memory. Her head is like a video camera that is always recording. Always. And there's no delete button. She's the smartest kid in her whole school, but no one knows it. Most people, her teachers and doctors included, don't think she's capable of learning. And up until recently, her school days consisted of listening to the same preschool-level alphabet lessons again and again and again. If only she could speak up. If only she could tell people what she thinks of what she knows, but she can't, because Melody can't talk. She can't walk. She can't write. Being stuck inside her head is making Melody go out of her mind. That is until she discovers something that will allow her to speak for the first time ever. At last, Melody has a voice, but not everyone around her is ready to hear it. From multiple Coretta Scott King Award winner Sharon Draper, comes a full story of heartache and hope. Get ready to meet a girl whose voice you'll never, ever forget. I'm a firm believer that all children can learn and all children are gifted in some ways. And the school system is so outdated that it doesn't really help all kids anymore. It makes them fit into a box, makes them obedient robots. And that's not what school should be about. Uh, school should be about all kids succeeding, learning, growing at their own rate, at their own pace, being in control of their own learning, and um, celebrating along the way and playing along the way. They're children. They need more recess. They need less homework. They need social and emotional learning. And they need a lot of patience and love and less academics. Common Core should be slashed in half. Um, we need to focus on their mental health, their social health, and their emotional health if we want any chance of having a future where we're all happy and at peace.